Hey guys, so we have here our CyberPower 1500 AVR battery backup and in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the battery in one of these battery backups. So uh, first thing of course we want to make sure is that we definitely unplug this from uh, the uh, power source. So this has to be unplugged and also uh, no other devices are connected to it at this point. So now the first thing we have to do is uh, put it on the side and then from the on the bottom front area here we're going to find a single Phillips screw here right down there we're going to remove that and this Phillips screw holds the uh, front panel in position so the after we remove this then we can now slide down the front panel here while we're having the whole device sitting on its side so you slide it down then we can tilt this away be careful uh, not to rip off those wires that are connected to the display. Now we have here two really big wires that are connected or that have connectors here. We're going to detach those two connectors uh, which are uh, connecting here to the battery or to the batteries, plural. So and then we have here these two little plastic tabs. We can pull on these in order to uh, remove the battery from the device. So we're going to pull on these uh, it should be relatively easy to get these out. So as we said before, there is two batteries here in one of these backups. And so now we have to uh, detach uh, the disassemble this battery pack. First, we're going to peel off the two uh, plastic uh, sheets here that are holding the two batteries together. And then when we take a close look, we see here one battery on the left, one battery on the right, and then there's in the center there's this little uh, spacer here in between that also contains a bunch of wires. So now we're going to slowly uh, peel apart here the two batteries and we're going to take a look, a close look at how these wires are routed inside of the, uh, the spacer because that will be important when we are putting everything back together. And uh, you see really quickly that the two batteries are actually connected here in series. And so in order to not mess up any of the wiring and to do anything wrong, we're going to start with first replacing just one of the batteries and put everything basically back together and then replace the second battery. I think that uh, is the easiest way to do this job. So I'm going to start out here with the battery that we see on the right side. We're going to disconnect both cables. So take this one away. And then when you install the new battery, just immediately reconnect all the cables just as they were before. And uh, so make sure when we do this to put the, uh, the those shoes, those clips really sturdily on there so that they don't uh, accidentally detach from the battery uh, while we are here working on the replacement. So the one end of the battery or of this cable here goes towards the uh, exit here where we're having access to the port later on and now we can now switch to over to the second battery to replacing the second battery so I'm going to just tilt this over here and I'm going to do this really quick I'm going to fast forward this a little bit because basically we're doing here the exact same thing so we're going to first uh, disconnect the uh, two ports from the second battery here as well so that then we can uh, replace this one as well uh, immediately reconnect everything as it was before so we don't accidentally uh, make any mistakes remember the uh, batteries in the end are connected here in series And then once we have completed the uh, rewiring, then we have to make sure we can get everything back together as it's intended because uh, this package is really tight and uh, or has to be really tight and you have to make sure that the, the cables here, those wires are routed properly so that everything fits back together really snug. Uh, this actually takes a couple of minutes, so uh, don't get frustrated and give up here. So take your time to make sure everything aligns correctly. And then uh, you take those uh, two pieces of uh, 
tape here, those plastic pieces, reattach them on both sides, making sure that everything aligns right. Also make sure that you have those two plastic tabs sticking out at the front where the two uh, cables come out. And then it's time already to put everything back together. So first we're going to make sure that those uh, two wires yeah, that come out of the device, that those are routed here through those two slots that we see here on the bottom or on the left side of the case. And then we can slide in the uh, new battery pack. Make sure that the uh, plastic here doesn't necessarily get caught and that it goes in, that it, the battery pack slides in all the way towards the back. And then we reconnect here the uh, two cables. Uh, they're full foolproof, so we cannot really uh, make a mistake here. Connect red to red and black to black. And also make sure that everything is really that they are both connected properly so uh, that they really the connectors are really snug together and then we're going to slide in the remaining the leftover of the two cables we're going to slide those back into the device uh, so that makes it easier now when we want to put the cover back on so uh, the two connectors are going to go into this lower area here that's where they should be so that they're not interfering with the lcd display so I'm going to bend the two connectors down a little bit when I'm uh, pushing the uh, front panel back on. And remember we have to kind of push the uh, front panel back on and then afterwards slide it upwards to uh, secure it in place. And in order to help with that we can also just stand the uh, battery back up upright and then push the device back down so that the display locks right into the correct position and then of course don't forget to secure the uh, front panel again with that small Phillips screws that we removed earlier yeah, and that was already it for this video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below